name is Olufusayo Bakare, and I am the curator at the Yamisi Shillon Museum of Art for the exhibition titled The Invincible Hand. The exhibition is a showcasing that celebrates the dexterity and the strength of female hands. So ideally, it's a showcasing of female artists from a historic era till a more contemporary era in art. Well, the curatorial process was quite interesting. We had started from about late December to early January this year, and we kind of cast a net to see who was interested in showcasing. You can't really impose showcasing um, an individual's work in an exhibition. And so we kind of streamlined to see who was available um, first to give you know, the right of first refusal, refusal to the artists. And then from a good number of about 150 names, we were able to narrow down to 30. And part of what we we're looking for was the technique they used, the medium in which they used. So if it was painting or photography, textile, um, it was, we wanted it to be as wide a variety as possible. There's some uh, pottery pieces as well. So we try to do a very, very vast range um, of selection showcasing technique. The exhibition is a showcasing of all female artists. Um, we're not trying to marginalize the men, but what we are saying with the exhibition is that women need a level playing field. And the, the world of art and art production gives credence to men over women. And so what we want to do is to ensure that we're balancing the playing field to make sure that the voices of women also are part of the narrative. My name is Jess Castellote, and I'm the director of the Jemish Shiloh Museum here at Pan Atlantic University. You know, this museum has, has, a, has a clear mission. We are here um, to try to achieve something. We are here to, to offer a service. We are not just a tourist attraction. We are mainly an educational resource within an educational institution. It's a university where we are a university museum. And this exhibition, like all the other ones that we have organized so far and the ones we will organize in the future, have ultimately an educational mission, understood in, in a broader sense. We want to, to help people know about something. In this case, is the, we want people to know more about what Nigerian women artists um, have been producing and are producing now. We want to give visibility to, to artists, to some artists that are not as well known as, as they deserve. This exhibition um, will open at the end of August, and it will last for six months. So we hope to, to have it on display till early next year. The opening is on Saturday, August 28th, and it will be on till, uh, till January 22. Uh, we have about 30 exhibiting female artists with very close to 60 works. Some of them are larger than what, what would be considered an average size, and so they take up more space and as, as a result, we have to kind of be very intentional in the selection process and also where the pieces go in the exhibition. I think there's a spotlight on Africa at the moment and being that Nigeria has the greatest um, population, naturally we would get you know, a lot of um, the piece of the pie, if you will, or a seat at the table. Um, it's quite important in the narrative that we're trying to tell um, through history. What happened is that we had a lot of established teachers and lecturers, and some of them are artists, come into schools like Zaria, um, Ife, and teach formally uh, the art process or the process of art production. But beforehand, we already had artists. They just weren't discovered or they hadn't emerged on a global scene. And I think with the fact that we have information at our fingertips, now more people are able to see, even students, from their um, education point of view. So without e them even graduating as artists, 
people are going to poach or encourage and develop these young talents. And so I think that the door has opened wide for emerging artists, for those that are even aspiring to kind of uh, take on a craft as their, their uh, for their, um, sorry, for those that are aspiring to take on art as a pastime hobby, if you will. Um, there's definitely different voices and different ways to approach uh, the art narrative in Nigeria and Africa and globally that these different voices and narratives and the shedding of light in these darkened spaces, if you will, has really amplified what it is that we are able to do as Africans in general. Throughout history, women generally have um, received the shorter end of the stick. And what we want to do is to amplify the voices of those that are collaborating um, to make the collective narrative stronger. I believe that showcasing just women uh, in, a, in an exhibition gives you um, a tell of what women can do. And so what we have seen up until time, or recent times, because I know that there are quite a number of exhibitions that celebrate womanhood and women, uh, what we have seen before now is that the male voices and their techniques kind of overshadow that of women. And so we're not so much marginalizing men, even though there are no um, male artists showing in the exhibition. What we are doing is celebrating the contribution of women in the art world.